ערב טוב, עברנו... יש תרגום לאנגלית, כן? או שזה לא באנגלית? All right, more English speaking people here, so I'll do it in English. We have had a long day, interesting day. I was here most of the time. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's uh, every year that we uh, celebrate this day and we speak about the freedom of the press. Uh, is there anything new? Well, I think yes. I think that, uh, let me speak of my country, but I think it's not only my country. The uh, discourse now that we hear uh, let us rule. Nuli shlot, nulim shol. Don't interfere. Let the government do its job. Why do you interfere? The idea of uh, let us rule means don't don't try to limit us. And we've seen in our country in recent years very uh, intensive attacks still going on on the uh, judicial branch because they are a sort of limit to the government. I think that uh, the government shouldn't do and the court says there, says don't do that. So the courts are now being criticized and there is a promise by members of the Knesset and to be elected that they will change the system. We've seen what happened with the state controller that uh, is another uh, check and balance on the government power. And without being so specific, we've seen how its force has been reduced. And we've seen what happened with the press. I'm not going to say anything about the criminal charges and whether uh, the defendant will be acquitted or convicted. We don't know, and it's not my business. But we have seen and we have heard, even recording, how the press wants to get closer to the government and they are ready for some deals. There is a recording well known. And now the government wants to get hold of the, of the press. So it's another check and balance that is under attack. The court, the state controller, the press, it's not coincidental. There is this wish, desire by some people, let's do the job, don't give much importance or attach any, any significance to those who say, no, don't do this, don't do that, that shouldn't be done. And this is one of the major um, duties of the press. Of course, the press has the freedom, what the Americans would call First Amendment freedom, uh, liberties. But it's not only freedom. I, too, have the freedom to speak. The press is more than that. They have immunity against uh, disclosing the sources. Why is that? If you think of democracy, democracy is about the people voting, saying what they think. But they need to know something. How do they know? They know, or used to know, mainly by the media, by the press, whether it's the New York Times or the London Times or the Figaro or Le Monde or Haaretz or Idiot Achonot. So if uh, we don't want the government to tell us what to know, we want the free market or the free press to do it, it's a duty. It's a role that they play. It's not just a freedom that they have. Until recently, until the new media came in, in every paper that I mentioned or network, there was an editor who would have said or should have said, we've heard it say, hey, you didn't check this. We're not going to publish it. Or these words we don't use in our, in our outlet. There are certain things you don't do, you don't say. Now the discourse is not only or not mainly in the press. It's in what they call the social media. There's no editor there. Everybody, rightfully, democratically, says what he wants. And you see the deterioration of the, of the discussion. It goes lower and lower. And for politicians in all countries, it became easier now to talk directly, not through the heads of any intermediaries, whether it's the intelligent guys of the left or the right, the professors of economics, professors of, uh, of education. No, we talk to you, and it's great, democ democracy. But you don't talk very uh, intensively and in explaining the, the complexities. We talk not to the brain, but to the guts, against the other, whoever the other may be, the Muslim, the Jew, the Mexican, the, the foreign worker, and it works. And you see, in recent years, a trend 
quite powerful, and not only in my country, I'm more concerned, of course, with my country. Populistic trend that uh, changes the discourse and threatens the essence of democracy. And even the fact that in my country, in this country, the, if you say today, as a politician or as a public figure, that you fight for democracy, human rights, rule of law, you're depicted as leftist. But these were the words that my mentor, Menachem Begin, used to say every word, every day. This was consensual. Now it's not consensual. There's a sliding right or left word, I don't know, but to populistic ideas. And these values that had not been challenged are now under attack. Heavy, strong, ongoing. They did not need a protector, a defender, because they were not attacked. Who will defend them today? Don't think it's a given. Americans thought 50 years ago something happened and the right to abortion is given. You see, it's not given. It can be taken away by one decision of the Supreme Court. You saw in other countries, not to compare, Hungary was mentioned here. We had a very uh, interesting interview with the Hungarian, Hungarian Jewish, I can say, uh, journalist. Hungary was under the Soviet occupation or Soviet influence, and they tried democracy. Where do they go now? Into what Orban calls illiberal democracy. In other words, no democracy. Uh, it's always painful to me how we find in the world, think of it, uh, pro-Israeli anti-Semites. And you see it in Hungary. I don't want to go further into that. It says something about us. We should ask ourselves how it came to that. Maybe if you sell them uh, Pegasus, it helps us. Uh, there's more to this than, than the Pegasus story. And you look at Europe, you see in France, uh, a lady got 42% who is speaking fascist language. Something is happening, it's a trend worldwide and quite powerful. Back from the grand ideas, I think, of rule of law, democracy, human rights, which seemed to be winning, all the way down to Fukuyama thinking we, we won uh, the world. We didn't, in, in fact. And the backlash is there. No, in, in, and after the horrors of the Second World War, 45, when they became apparent, not only to us Jews, but to the world at large, there was this trend not to allow sovereignty, majority rule to be everything. There is human rights, the international law protecting human rights above sovereignty. They seemed to be winning in a very positive way, and freedom of the press was very important. Now there's a trend in the other way, and it's a big wave. And I think we, all of us who care about these values and think they are very essential to our way of life, to our, our philosophy of life, need to fight back. You, it, it won't happen by itself. There are forces that think the other way around. So press here is in the core of the debate or the discussion today. It really carries a heavy, heavy burden in fighting and maintaining the assets of of, uh, that they always had, so many times had in democracy, investigative journalism against the power that be, whatever it is, left or right, somebody to be on the other side and have the, the, the support of the public for it. So I think that um, it's important that freedom of the press that seem to be given, I think is under threat. And there are changes in the world. What is journalist in social media? Is everybody a journalist? Does everybody enjoy the same rights like a journalist? Who is it? It's not easy, but uh, the cause is there, the danger is there, and I think that uh, journalists have a very important role in our life now and in the future in maintaining those basic values that allow democracy to function and allow our life to continue being a free life, not dictated by the power that we. So I think that we should all thank the people who came here to speak and, and, and enlighten us on what they know, and to thank uh, the host, uh, the Begin Center. There is no better person to learn from about the need uh, to keep democracy alongside your political views, very national and very liberal, which is what he was. Uh, and uh, I think they made a good choice to, to do it here, and thank them also for hosting us here. Thank you all, and let's meet next year.